Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the traffic management system. So without much delay, let's begin. Firstly, we'll be seeing at the requirements of this project. We will be requiring an IDE for an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, a text editor will be required. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system will be required. Again, you can use anything as per your choice, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. I hope you are clear with the requirements. Now let's move at the code part. So here we go. So in the first screen, you can see that we have included some header files along with the standard line that is using namespace std. Then we have declared a class named the traffic management system, which is all the attributes of the vehicles and the challenge number. We have the access specifier as public, which makes sure that all the contents of this class can be accessed throughout the program. We have a function that is int welcome. You can sense that welcome function will be used in the welcome screen only to welcome the users. So here we have this time delay part, like in some time, after some time, the next function will be displayed to make the output look visually appealing actually. Next, this is a welcome screen. It will display hearty welcome to the traffic management system. It will ask you to enter your desired option. Press one to record new vehicles. Press two to get the record of the challenge. Press three to search record of vehicles. Press four to search for the traffic control booths. Press five to control the traffic. And press six if you require any help. So you will be required to enter your desired choice. For the choice, again, you will be going to the switch case. There will be certain cases accordingly. Certain functions will be called. For the case one, we have the record of vehicle function. For case two, we have record of challenge function. For case three, we have the vehicle search function. For case four, we have the traffic control booth function. For case five, we have the traffic control function. And for the case six, we have the help info function. So it will ask you to enter a valid choice. You can choose anything from one to six, depending on what you want. This is the first function that is a record of vehicle function. It will display that again, hearty welcome to the traffic management system. This is the record of vehicles. It will ask you to select your desired option. Press one to add a new vehicle. Press two to search for a vehicle using its registration number. Every vehicle has its own registration number, which is unique. And press three to search a vehicle through the owner's name. You can also search a vehicle through the owner of the vehicle the name of the owner of the vehicle. So accordingly, you can make your selection. It will ask you to enter a zero if you want to go back to the home screen. It will ask you to enter your desired choice. This is the uh, ISD of choice. This is the variable. And the, through, in this variable, you need to enter your desired choice. So after the choice has been entered by you, again, it will go through the switch cases. Case one, we have the record of vehicle one. Case two, we have record of vehicle two. Case three, we have record of vehicle three. And you will be amazed to see at the case zero, that is for the home screen, like going back to the main menu. So let's see at the first function, what does it say up to us? In the record of vehicle one function, it will ask you to enter, it will ask you to go to the file in which all the data details have been stored. It will display, hey, welcome to the vehicle registration portal. Please enter your vehicle's registration number in the first line. Then it will ask you to enter the owner's name in the second line. And if you want to exit, you need to press the slash button on your keyboard. This is the path in which the file has been stored. The name of the file will be record of vehicles.txt and uh, all the transactions, all the information that we are going to write or we are going to get in, from this code that will be stored in the record of vehicles function Sorry, record a vehicle's text file simultaneously. So now we'll be moving forward here. After the data has been inputted by the user, it will display that your data has been entered successfully. After that, the function record a vehicle will be called. Then there is a next function that is record a vehicle to. Here, the record a vehicle's text file will be opened again. And the various transactions that we are going to perform will be done. 
then it will ask it will display that welcome to the registration portal it will ask you to enter the registration number of the vehicle that we are searching for so after entering the registration number of the vehicle it will display the entered registration number is this and it is found in our records you can press 1 to go back to the home screen and press 2 if you want to enter the registration number again So here in the else part, you can say it will, it will display that sorry, your entered registration number is not found. You can enter again. It will ask you to press one to go back to the home screen and press two if you want to enter the registration number again. So if all these two functionalities are not being performed, then it will display that sorry, this is error. So now we'll be going to the record of vehicles three function. All the functionalities are same, just the idea or the domain it covers is different we will display that welcome to the registration bottle please enter the name of the on owner of the vehicle that you are searching for so for each candidate you have to read from the file that is it matching with the owner name that you have entered or not so the owner's name the name has been found successfully in our records if it is found successfully and if you have to press one to go back to the home screen and press two if you want to enter the owner's name again, like if you have done any mistake, you can enter the owner's name again. If the entered owner's name is wrong, it will display, sorry, owner's name is unavailable in our database. Again, it will display the same line. If you want to go back to the home, please press one. And if you want to try again, you can press two. Let's move to the next slide here. Again, there is a record of challen function. It will display that welcome to the traffic management system, record of challen. Enter your desired option, press 1 to add a new challen. Press 2 to search for challen using registration number and press 3 to search for challen using the owner's name. And press 0 if you want to go back to the home. So you have to enter your desired choice and uh, accordingly you will be driven towards a particular function. The record of challen 1, that is the first function, will ask you to enter the vehicle's registration number and the owner's name. After that, if you have to exit, you can press the slash key. This is this is the path of the file, the record of the challenge file, this part. So if the file is successfully opened, we'll be running a loop. And we'll be getting all the text or the all the line, all the we'll be reading the lines from the standard input and we'll be checking whether that part is present in the challenge file or not. So if your data is entered properly and successfully without any error, it will display that your yeah, data has been entered successfully. This is the second function. Here it will ask again the registration number of the vehicle. So it will display the entered registration number has been found successfully. If you want to go back to the home screen, press 1. Or if you want to enter the registration number again, you can press 2. If the registration number is not found, it will display that sorry, the registration number is not found. You can enter the registration number again. So if again uh, nothing was done and you are entering the registration number again and again, it will display that sorry error 402. The third function also do does the same thing, but here we have to enter the owner's name. If the owner's name is not present, it will display that yeah, the owner's name is not present in our database. You can go back to the home screen or you can enter the owner's name properly. Or, or else it will display error. This is the vehicle search function. Here we need to search for a vehicle because there are multiple vehicles running in the traffic. So we need, if you want to find out a particular vehicle, you can search for that. It will ask you to enter the vehicle's registration number. And if you want to go back to the home screen, you can press zero. Uh, so you have to enter your desired choice. Accordingly, it will take a word, string format. It will check whether the registration number has been uh, entered correctly by the user. If it is not entered, it will display error. It will, and if the registration number is not available in the database, it will display that. Sorry, the registration number is not. Going towards the next function, we have the traffic control booth function. Here, the various traffic control booths are being managed properly. We have three options for Vobreshwar traffic control booth, for the Katak traffic control booth, and for the Puri traffic control booth. These three booths are present in Odisha. And we have to press the correct option to get the information of the required booth, which you intend to. We have three cases for the traffic control booth, one for Bhubaneswar, two for Katak, and three for Puri. Let's see at the functionalities. See, for the one and two, you can see on the screen, I have already written the code. 
there is a run uh, loop which is running from one i is equal to zero to i is less than hundred that is for hundred times it will display publish or traffic control booth vehicles that are going out of the city and vehicles that are coming into the city we have two different headings and the data will be stored or entered accordingly second function also does the same thing but the publisher has been changed to katak and the vehicles are also changed next we have the third traffic control booth which is for puri the same transaction is been going on here then we have the helpline information and to get the information of the nearby hospitals. If unfortunately some mishap happens on road, we need to have the proper information about the hospitals and about the healthcare centers that are available. So here it will ask you to press 1 to get the helpline number, press 2 to get info of the hospitals in Katak, and press 3 to get info of the hospitals in Puri. So accordingly, you will be entering your desired choice and all the functionalities will be performed. Again, this is the file path. As you can see, this is the file path. And uh, if you want to go back to the home page, you can press one. Or else you can pre press any other valid option. And um, accordingly, all the functionalities will be performed. This is the case two again. This is for the, this is again the Katak text file part, path. The same functionalities, if you want to go to go back to the main menu, you can press one or else you can press any other valid option. Case 3 is for Puri and the functionalities remain quite the same. And here we have the main function which have the object of the class traffic management system which we declared in the first line of our program. And it will call the function ob1.welcome. That is a welcome screen. And from that all the certain functions will be called. And uh, I hope you understood the working of this code. I hope I was able to make sense and I was able to make you understand the code. So thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to get interesting project ideas. Thank you everyone. Have a great day.